Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in this week's video, I wanna dive in how do you create a totally customizable top bottom filter for your user so that they can choose, hey, I wanna see the top five values or the bottom 10 values. Um, so they kinda have complete control over top, bottom, five, 10, 20, however many numbers they wanna see. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into an example. Um, I was recently teaching a class, and one of the example data sets in that class is uh, some state level data for the US and it compares a state's college tuition value to the US average. Um, so you could see like, oh, Washington's an average of $9,000 for the year for college tuition and New Hampshire it's 17,000 or you know, however that works. So they probably just roll up a bunch of different colleges and average them. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a quick map which just demonstrates some of what we're seeing. So let's just take a moment to talk through this. Right, so you can see like Wyoming seems to be the darkest value here at 46% below the US average tuition and fees uh, at 4.9,000, shout out Wyoming, what's up people? Uh, and then our New England friends up here are like way above the average, right? 65% above the US average at 15,000-ish per year, uh, I think. <laughs> okay, so this is great, you know, kind of helpful to see this. There's a couple of issues going on, like there's a little bit of size just uh, distortion because like oh, you got Alaska and Hawaii and they're kind of extending the map and then also you have this issue where like these US states are such different sizes like Rhode Island is the tip of a ballpoint pen and Alaska is the size of your palm right so that's another little bit of issue so maybe we want to see this data in a slightly different way um, and if we want to see it in a list format like whether it's a text table a highlight table bar charts you know, there is something nice about that in the sense that, you know, you now get to sort of see all the values listed out. But the problem is, you know, 50 values is probably too many to see all at once in a bar chart or text table or whatever it might be. You're probably going to end up with the scroll bars and then you're kind of losing like, hey, you know, <sighs> losing the ability to see some of that data. So what if I gave my users the ability to filter, to keep something like show me the top 10 or the bottom 10 or something like that? So if you just wanna give them a single static filter, that's actually like fairly straightforward, just quick review of that. And we'll drop a link to a video that we've done about filtering in the description if you wanna check that out. Uh, but in general, like if I put the state field on filters and just said, hey, you know, give me the top 10 by percent difference to US average, so that would give me the top 10 states. But what if I wanna switch that to bottom 10 or bottom five or whatever? Well, my user doesn't really have that capability, right? Um, <laughs> like we have this because we have Tableau desktop, but on Tableau server or wherever they might be interacting with this, they probably don't. So time to get tricky, right? Time to get creative. Uh, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a calculated field and actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna start with the calculated field. I'm gonna start with a parameter. We're actually gonna create a couple of parameters. So the first parameter is, I will call this like the top number of values that you'd see. So top, or like, or maybe I should just call it this, number of states to display, okay? So I'm gonna give the user a range and they could pick anywhere from, let's say one to 50, because I think there's 50 states in this data set. So I will say, okay. Um, you can see down here in the bottom left corner of my screen, we now have a section for parameters. I'm gonna hit the drop down on our parameter and say show parameter. And right now, it's just a little slider. And oh my gosh, it's got a bunch of decimals and that looks horrible. So let me do a quick edit on this. I didn't think to double check this, but we do want our data type to be integer for whole numbers only. That looks better. Okay, so now it, maybe it says like 10. It's not connected to anything, so it doesn't do anything yet, but we'll get there. So now I'm actually, well, let's go ahead and create the top 10 filter and then I'm gonna show you how we can switch it from top to bottom. So let's do this first. I'm gonna hit this drop down, create a calculated field, and then how would I wanna say this? I'll call this, you know, top, uh, top states by whatever it is, percent difference. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use the rank function in Tableau here. So I'm gonna say, give me my rank and then just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, whatever, we'll just throw that field in there. So give me the rank by this value, the sum of the percent difference to the US average. And we need that to be less than or equal to whatever the number is in the parameter. So currently it's 10. So what does that mean less than or equal to? So the state with the 
highest percent difference, New Hampshire, you can see at the top of our list here, that would be ranked number one, Vermont two, Pennsylvania three, and so on. So I'm just saying if it's ranked between one and 10, we wanna keep that value. But not just static 10, but dynamic 10 because it's referencing a parameter, okay? So that calculation that we just created is called a Boolean field. It came back as true false over here. I'm just gonna use that as a filter. So we take our top states by percent difference, throw that on our filters card, keep only true. And if we did that all right, just those 10 states, that's what we wanna see. And now the cool part is that that should be dynamic, right? So if we change our slider to more or less states, that's changing. So already we're really far along. Uh, so now we sort of just have like one last big thing. I'm just gonna move the parameter, just a little more room over there. Um, just one more last big thing that we would wanna do, uh, which is how could we make it dynamic to switch between top and bottom? Quick side note before we dive into that last parameter, um, if you click this link up here in this corner, you will see that we have some classes coming up. Um, we've got a couple different classes on calculations. Some of them are maybe a little bit more basic. Some of them are more advanced like this, where we get into parameters and dynamic values. So we would love to see you there. Um, feel free to check out those classes and let us know if you have questions. Uh, with that said, let's dive back in. So last thing is just to create a parameter which switches between top and bottom. Um, so. I'm just gonna create that parameter and I'll explain it to you as we go. So I'll call this, you know, top slash bottom states, okay? And what I'm gonna do is change my data type to string. I'm gonna create a list. And then I'm gonna create two values. There's gonna be what's called DESC or descending and ASC or ascending. These are values which we can input into that rank function to make it dynamic, so it's either giving us a top or a bottom 10. Um, so now we mostly just need to decide what these are called. I think, um, I think top 10, I'll call that the ones that are the most above the US average, so that would be you know ranked from the highest percentage to the lowest. So that would be DESC or descending, high to low. So I'll call that display as top. And then ASC would be ranking low to high. So like Wyoming would be ranked number one. So I'll call that bottom. So let me say, okay. And let me go ahead and show that parameter as well. So now do we wanna see the top 10 or the bottom 10 or whatever it would be? So now last thing, I'm gonna go back to my top states calculation, hit this drop down and edit. And then we didn't really talk about this, but if I get rid of that last parenthesis after rank, you'll see that Tableau, it puts it in brackets because it's optional, but you can see that something that you can do to that rank function is you can uh, clarify to Tableau, do you want it to be a descending or an ascending rank? So descending rank is the default, that means it's ranking high to low, but sometimes you wanna rank low to high. And in this case, we want the user to be able to decide. We want it to be dynamic. So I'm gonna say comma, and then we'll go ahead and pop this bad boy in there, that top bottom states parameter. And then, again, if everything goes to plan, say okay. So right now it's showing us our top 10 states, but if we switch that to bottom, oh yeah, now we're talking, right? So now we can see which states have our, you know, the biggest percent difference below the US average. So this is pretty awesome because our user now has just like a totally customizable filter where depending on what they want to focus in on, then they can do that, okay? Um, so I'm probably gonna leave it there for now. Just know that there is other crazy stuff you can do if you wanna make the measure dynamic. So maybe they wanna look at it by, you know, average number of students in each university. Hey, you could give them the option to do that. If you wanna change the sort, so it brings Wyoming to the top when you've selected bottom, you could do that, right? So there's a lot of extra customization that you can do to this, but I think this gives you a pretty decent idea of, you know, what are some of the different capabilities that you have when it comes to customizing top slash bottom filters for your user. So thank you so much for checking this out. I hope this is helpful and enlightening, and we look forward to catching you on another video here very soon. So, all right, we'll see you soon.